if you always do what you know is going to work, then OK, you'll have less failure. But you'll never make a substantive change or a breakthrough. Design engineer James Dyson has always had a passion for making things better. In a way, problem solving is a disease. It's there to be solved. It's a steeple to climb. It's a mountain to climb. Mountaineers have that problem. We have that. James Dyson's first major breakthrough came in an unlikely form, the wheelbarrow. While renovating his house, he became frustrated by the wheel getting stuck in the ground. So he invented the ball barrow, a new design with a large inflatable ball. Things are too heavy, things are too polluting, things use too much energy. There are just hundreds of problems in every product. This sparked the invention that would change the course of his life and career forever. Traditional vacuums use bags that clog up almost immediately, resulting in a loss of suction. One day, he saw a factory with a cyclone system on the roof that separated dirt from air. This became the inspiration for the cyclone technology in his vacuums. He spent five years developing these cyclones. And finally, after 5,127 prototypes, he had invented the bagless vacuum. James's work on the upright vacuum cleaner helped him understand the movement and flow of air. This led to his next invention, the Dyson Airblade hand dryer that uses a sheet of cleaner, forced air to quickly dry hands. Working with airflow also helped Dyson change the game for fans and air purifiers. The current model has sensors that detect unwanted pollutants in the home and react to them in real time. But Dyson was focused on more than just airflow. If we develop breakthrough technology like our high-speed electric motors, for me, that's a huge success. Because this enables so many products to perform so well. After breakthroughs in motor technology for his vacuums and hand dryers, Dyson's continued development made possible the Dyson supersonic hair dryer that prevents extreme heat damage. He spent four years working with 103 engineers and tested 1,010 miles of hair to achieve this. The secret is the motor. In the 10 years we've been doing our motors, we've made quantum leaps. Smaller, faster, lighter, and ever more powerful. Now Dyson has refocused attention on the cord-free category, one he invented over a decade before, and he has reimagined the cord-free stick vacuum. Motor pioneering combined with advances in battery life made way for the Dyson Cyclone V10 cord-free stick vacuum, housing the fastest and lightest digital motor yet. So what's next? Dyson is taking on the electric car. He announced plans to spend more than $2.7 billion to build a zero emissions vehicle by 2020 and currently has a team of over 400 engineers working on a design that brings together what they've learned about airflow, motor, and battery power. We're trying to do something different and better. So we're risk taking, trying to advance technology, trying to advance what a product can do. We're stepping off into the unknown.